guys, it is Tag Tuesday. I know we're in the same clothes, but you know, when I only have one day off a week, you kind of got to do what you can around these YouTube stuff. So anyway, um, today I'm doing the Lazy Day Tag, which uh, Megan sent to me when she found it. Basically, it's a couple categories. We're just going to talk through what I do on the Lazy Day. Um, I don't know who created it, but we found it from Beauty Baby 44 Is that what her name is? Yeah, Beauty Baby 44 um, on YouTube. I think her name is Lindsay. I don't know. It's, I don't actually watch her. Oops. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to jump on into it. There's one, two. There's six categories of things. And so I have a bunch of stuff like all over my desk to show you. Um, okay. So the first category is, is hair products. And basically, this is like things you use on a lazy day. Uh, my number one like hair product for lazy days is dry shampoo. This is a baby Batiste one. This is the one that Jessica sent me in her swap box, but I have like six or seven different ones that I'm just like testing out and seeing if I like. Um, this one smells really good. It's cherry scented, but any of the Batiste ones are really good. So there's that one. Um, my second like lazy day hair product that I use all the time is this Garnier oil. Um, I'm loving it because it makes my hair so much softer. Um, I have been coloring my hair just about, you know, every two months or so for like 10 years. And when you do that, it kind of messes with your hair. I honestly don't know what my natural hair color is anymore. Uh, because I've been such a redhead for so long. But um, it just really like, it'll tame the your ends and make them all sleek and pretty. You can use it before you heat style. I use it right out of the shower a lot. Um, it, I mean, it really... Is an amazing product it's kind of like one of those moroccan oil ones but that's six dollars the moroccan oil one's quite more expensive so that's why i went with that one the second one is makeup looks and products okay so if you don't know i work at starbucks i have to be there at four in the morning every day and so i've gotten the lazy day makeup down to a science basically it's eyebrows mascara and concealer that's it that's all i worry about so for me, I use the Benefit Browsing for my brows every day. I've been using this every day for a year, probably almost two years now. It's got a wax and a powder. Um, yeah. So I just use that on a little angle brush. You out the door, go. Uh, the concealer I've been using lately is Studio Gear. Same one I've showed in a favorites video before, I think. Uh, it's our Hidden Agenda Concealer. You can just, I mean, everybody has their favorite one. And this, for me, is just quick and simple, one step out the door. Um, and then mascara. Right now, I'm really loving the Clump Crusher by CoverGirl. Uh, I don't like to have to layer mascaras. This gets the job done by itself. I don't need six different products to make my lashes look how I like them. This takes care of it for me. Um, I do really love Benefit They're Real, but... I don't want to spend $21 on mascara because you go through it so fast. If you don't go through it, it dries out and it's just like, ugh. so anyway, that's my makeup looks. The next category is outfits. Okay. For me, comfy, like lazy day outfits really depends on what it's like outside. Like today it's gross and raining and that's why I have some funny looking light going on. Um, but like if it's kind of chilly, it's always the Icarus account hoodie with my favorite black yoga pants. Um, if it's a little warmer, then I'll throw on like shorts and, uh, like usually a band t-shirt, one of my six Leonard Austin t-shirts, um, or a tank top and like a little hoodie like this. I guess it's not really a hoodie. It's just like a track jacket, but, um, this is from Old Navy like four years ago and it's super comfy and low key and keeps me warm, but not like, like I'm not going to overheat, you know? So that's pretty much what I wear every day anyway like I'm so low-key I'm a jeans and a t-shirt kind of girl unless I'm going somewhere nicer uh but for the most part I'm kind of pretty much wear the lazy day clothes every day okay so the next one is coffee and or tea okay work at Starbucks um but I don't really drink a whole lot of either one I'm gonna drink something it's either gonna be water or like Diet Coke I know those are really bad for you but ugh. And I'm not supposed to have caffeine either, but Diet Coke is my, my weakness, my kryptonite. Um, <laughs> yeah, 
So that's my drink of choice. I do, however, like undertoes. Undertoes are it's uh, syrup at the bottom. You really good with vanilla or caramel. Half and half, two shots of espresso on top, and you shoot it. Like you drink it really fast. And it's just like the way that the heat mess, it's like cause you get like a shot of coffee with the cold uh, half and half and then that shot of vanilla or whatever afterwards. It's so good. Oh my gosh. But that's like my, my coffee thing, but I don't, can't make that at home. So the next category is snacks and sweets and I have brought a few of them with me. Okay. One of my favorite snacks is the Kashi, oh come on light, the Kashi dark chocolate coconut bars. Love these things. Um, for a really long time, Megan was sending them to me because I couldn't find them here, but now finally my Target carries them, so, yes. <laughs> um, another one of my favorites is Nutella. Miss Brittany Bratt and Makeup by Gen 9 have got me into the, uh, Nutella and pineapple. Oh my gosh, so good. The very last category is pampering items, like lotions and candles and stuff like that. So, um, my favorite lotion right now. It's because of Megan. It's a positively radiant pomegranate one. This is the energizing one. Pomegranate and grapefruit. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Uh, but basically, I ended up finding out about this because of Megan. There's also a lavender one, which I've been using at night before I go to bed. And it's just, I don't know, lavender just relaxes me. So, yes, I do have both of them. Candles, the only candle that I love enough to actually buy from Bath & Body Works is the Peach Bellini. This is the holiday packaging, I think. Oh, that smells so good. I'm almost done with this one. Um, but, I mean, 2 for 22 is like every other week now, so maybe I'll be able to catch it again soon. And I also love when they do the holiday packaging with the cute little lids. I'm a sucker for packaging. Um, there's only one more like lotion-y thing that I really use a lot and I know it's not really luxurious But I love it. It's the Palmer's cocoa butter. Uh, this is the 24-hour Concentrated one or whatever. I absolutely love to put this on at night before I go to bed and just put on like really soft socks <laughs> and uh, Just like sinks in and your your feet just feel so nice and like like you just got a pedicure Even if you haven't gotten a pedicure in a while. So this is a collab with my good friend Megan from Invincible Bookworm uh, we are doing Music Monday and some Tag Tuesdays, not too many this time, but this is one of them. Uh, this is all just a part of our Vala experience this year. In October, we did Vlogtober together. We kind of decided we would do a little bit of vlogging semi-together, as together as we can be, living across the country. Uh, in April just to kind of hang out with you guys a little bit and so you guys could get to know us a little bit better. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching I'll see you in a few days.